in a moment, but right now Dan is in for Vicky with a check of your news headlines. Good morning. Enjoy the 30s while you can. Mm -hmm. well, thank you very much. It was another bitterly cold morning for everyone, but especially about 5,000 NES customers in West Nashville when a down wire knocked out power. A major winter storm is headed up the East Coast as the deep freeze continues to grip much of the U.S. Mobile Bay is frozen, and that's a sight some old timers have never seen. And as Meg Oliver shows us, this new storm could bring bizarre blizzard conditions from Florida all the way to Maine. And back here at home, new details this morning about the investigation into the death of a Hickman County toddler. Two year old Jeffrey Skaggs died in 2001, but new evidence suggests his death may have been a homicide. The little boy's body was exhumed last week. Investigators tell us there's evidence of a massive skull fracture, but we're still awaiting the final report from the coroner. That big time cash reward is still on the table for details on who broke into a gun store in Clarksville. Thieves smashed into the glass at Double Tap Tactical on Christmas Day. More than 30 guns stolen. The ATF is offering a $2,500 reward, and that's being matched by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. So we're talking a total of $5,000 in reward cash in this case. If you have any information that could help out, call Clarksville Police or the ATF. Country mega star and Mrs. Mike Fisher is updating her fans on that big fall she took that landed her in the hospital. Carrie Underwood revealed she broke her wrist last year, but is now sharing even more personal details, saying that same tumble at her house caused her to need about 50 stitches in her face. She says she's healing slowly, but admits her face won't quite look the same when she goes back to work, resuming her recording career and concerts touring. Certainly we're glad things were not worse and wish her the very best as she recovers. More news on air and online right here on News Channel 5 throughout the day. But first, let's see what's cooking. Here's Meryl. Thank you, Dan. Well, when